Whether good or bad, sweet or painful, stories are the account of why we are the way we are, the reason we are who we are. Our stories try to find order and disorder, to seek a pattern and a purpose for everything we've experienced. If only we look deeper. Because when we look deeper, this is not just a carpenter, but a man who is ensnared by addiction, whose feet are bound by the debts he owes, but whose itching hands can't stop throwing the dice. A man who can see no future and can find no hope, and so drinks himself to sleep each night to numb the fear of a new day. And this is not just a young woman, but a child from a broken home, fearful of her father and neglected by her mother. People tell her that she must have angered the gods, and yet she prays to them, to any that will listen, asking what she did to deserve this, and how she can appease their anger. And this is not just a herbalist, but an old man, tired and alone, for his wife passed away many years ago. His body fades, eyes grow dim, and arms weak. The gods did not give him children, only a past he'd rather forget, and a future he'd rather not contemplate. How we long to tell them a different story, the story of God, who created the world with a word and gave life with a breath. God, who looked on his creation and saw that it was very good. God, who loves us and longs to give us new life. It is for these that he came and for these that he died. The unloved, the lonely, the forgotten, the guilty, to these he promises hope and a future. And what we long for them to say is, neither death nor life, angels nor demons, present nor future, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate me from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus.